day two. Today we are talking about one half. We're going to trace the triangle. Now if you don't have a printer and you cannot print these out at home, that is okay. You can trace it with your finger on the computer. Okay, so here we have a triangle. A triangle has one, two, three sides. It has one, two, three corners. If I'm going to make this half, to divide my triangle in half, I can go straight down the middle and make one over two, one half. I can trace my circle. Remember, a circle is one continuous curved line that goes around and around and never stops. It does not have any straight sides or corners. If I'm going to divide a circle in half, it would look like this. I would have one over two, one half. To divide a square in half, first let's talk about the square. A square has one, two, three, four equal sides. They are all the same length. They have four square corners. Okay, if I divide my square in half, it would look like this, one over two, one half. Remember, we do not say one tooth, we say one half. One over two, one half. Now we're gonna write it. We're gonna trace the word half, starting at the hat line. Big line down, back, over. When we make our A, there's a C in the letter A. A, L, F, starting at the top. Curve and straight line down, little line across, half. Now, when we read this word, it looks like it's saying half with the O sound. But the O sound is quiet. We do not say that sound. It's like writing a half, but there is an L in the word. Let's write half. H, big line down, back to the midline, bump over. H, A, there's a C in the letter A. L, starting at the top, straight line down. Remember, please use your lines. F, starts with a curve and straight line down, little line across at the midline. Here it says color one half. Well, I've got a rectangle, my lines got cut off, and I have one half on this side and one half on this side. So if I'm gonna color one half of this rectangle in, I'm not coloring very nicely. You can color a lot nicer than I can. Here I have one half colored in. One over two, one half. So this side is colored in. There's one part colored in out of one, two equal pieces. So when we're talking about it, the number on the bottom is called the denominator. That tells us how many equal pieces there are. The number on the top tells us how many pieces are colored in. Here it says one half of the pizza. Again, one half of the pizza. So if I make a circle and I color in one half of the pizza, I'm only coloring in one out of two equal parts. One part colored out of two equal parts. Let's read the next one. One half of the cookie. So if I'm going to color in one half of the cookie, does it matter which side I color in? Nope because I am coloring in one part 
out of one, two equal pieces. One half of the candy. So if I have two pieces of candy and I were going to divide them in half, that means I'm going to give my friend one candy and I will keep one candy. So one candy for my friend out of two whole candies. One half of the pie. If I'm going to color in half of the pie, one half would be for my friend and we still have one, two equal parts.